Good morning, Sidney Hill. <laughs> I don't know why Maori's whispering, whispering. but uh, yeah, in case you don't, you may recognize Maori, but in case you don't recognize me behind the fluff, my razor went on lockdown also. Um, but we've come to terms now. We've shaved most of the roughness off, the ruggedness off, and now I look a little bit better. But, uh, I sent my grandchildren a photo uh, of the rough and ready. And I got one word back from my eldest granddaughter, and that is shave. Just that word, shave. So I did shave a little bit. But yeah, it's good to be to spend this time with you guys. Missing you all. But just something that is that I believe the Lord led in my heart last night is how much time we've had in this lockdown period to do all sorts of things. But to me, the most important thing is, or was, is to build relationships, to develop the relationships that we already had. Relationships with our spouse, with our children. Um, I can imagine there, there was probably some strain somewhere along the line, but as we work on it and we allow God to just help us in all these, these, these things, these circumstances and situations, it develops. And this portion of scripture that uh, came to mind is found in Philippians 4, verse 6 and 7. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Yeah, be anxious for nothing, it says. There's been a lot of things that may have kind of got us to be worried about. And, and, I, and I can understand people are going through some serious times now with going, people not being able to go back to work children not being able to go back to school it's a major thing and it will have a major effect on our future but the Lord says don't be anxious for anything mm. just in prayer and supplication with thanksgiving mm. make our requests known to him and I don't want to do a teaching on that I just want to share just share this this one thing with you and, and that is that in this time that we've had and we've got a, we've had a lot of time started over three mm -hmm. weeks and maybe all our plans fitted into the three weeks and fulfilled those three weeks but what happens now beyond that when we haven't planned we haven't been able to go out and arrange things but we have all this time now because we're, we're in about the seventh week now mm -hmm. It's a lot of time and it's a lot of time to spend together and I love reading and I've spent a lot of time in reading but the thing is that you do not develop a relationship when you're reading. Mari doesn't talk to me when I'm sitting with a book. <laughs> Obviously I'm not talking to her either mm -hmm. so there's no relationship there. There's the other relationship can only take place, like only, only develop as we speak to one another and we work together. I don't know about working together, but with her being laid up with her back, um, there'd be no working He's together. <laughs> I've had to do the cooking and the baking and the cleaning and the whatever else. But anyway, um, that aside, it's working together in speaking together, spending oh. time together. And we've had all this time to develop relationship with our families. What about the Lord? Mm. What about God? Isn't He also family? Aren't we part of the family of God? And so we should actually be spending some time with Him. In fact, more, I mm. personally feel more time with Him because He's our Father. Mm. And so we, we don't have to, yes, yes, there's a time that we need to get on our, get on our knees, uh, separated from everyone else and get into some serious time with the Lord. But we can be speaking to our Father at any time. Amen. 
working in the kitchen, baking, whatever you're doing, we can be speaking to our Father. Mm. And that relationship builds. And the more we speak to our Father, the more we converse with our Heavenly Father, the greater our faith becomes, the more the faith grows. The, the less we are concerned about the, all the stresses and strains that are coming against us. And that peace that passes all understanding definitely does begin to play in our lives. Mm. And so I want to encourage you, mm. to again, to be like David. David is, God says of David that he is a man after his own heart. And I've realized that it's probably because David says in Psalm 100 verse 4, I will enter your uh, gates with thanksgiving. I will enter your courts with praise. David was a worshiper. He was a prayer. And I believe that's why God says he was a man after his own heart. And we need to develop that. And it's not a not trying to introduce a law of any kind. But relationship requires our attention. Mm. So I encourage you, spend time with our Father. Be built up and experience mm. His peace through this time. Mm. Amen. Bless you guys. Hold fast and press on. The end is coming. Just quickly, there's two words, a couple of words in the Old Testament. I don't know exactly where they are, but it starts off, and these things came to pass. Mm. Well, <laughs> COVID-19 has come to pass. It's not yet to stay. Thank you, Lord. God bless you all.